Welcome, dear listeners, to another inspiring episode of the Lounge Chair Podcast. I am your girl, Melissa, and today we are diving into a topic that resonates with each and every one of us. It's the idea that everyone has a unique and remarkable story to tell. That's right. Each of us carry within us experiences, dreams, and moments that define who we are. But often, there's a chapter in our story waiting to be written, a chapter that requires us to take a leap of faith, embrace our intercarriage, and take a risk. And as believers, we find deep inspiration and guidance in the scripture. So in the Bible, we encounter countless individuals who take incredible risks driven by their faith. Their stories are a testament of the power of faith and the potential that lies within each of us and overcome fear and uncertainty. So today, we invite you to join us on this journey as we explore what it means to take a risk Unleash your inner lion from a Christian perspective. We'll dive into the biblical foundation of taking risks, discover how trusting in God's plan can lead us to remarkable places, and learn how to overcome the fears that often hold us back from seizing opportunities. So grab a comfortable seat, a warm cup of your favorite beverage, and let's embark on this faith-filled adventure together. Because remember, y'all, everyone has a story to tell. And today, we are here to help you write that bold and daring chapter of your own. We're diving straight into our first segment. And we're starting with a story that's both exhilarating and deeply encouraging. Remember David and Goliath? That's right. In the face of intimidating giant, David stepped forward. But here's the thing. He had some people cheering him on, believing in his potential, his faith, and his bravery, right? However, there were also those who doubted him, who told him he he didn't have the right weapon, the proper protection, or the strength to take down the giant. You know, those haters, right? Everybody got him, right? David, this young shepherd boy, was about to confront a seemingly insurmountable challenge. And it isn't that, but isn't that what life often feels like? We have our own giants to face those daunting situations and overwhelming odds and seemingly impossible dreams. But here's the remarkable part of the story. David knew he was going into the battle. He wasn't going into the battlefield alone. He understood that it wasn't solely his strength, skill, or cunning that would lead him to victory. It was the spirit of God, you know, the Holy Spirit working through him. And that's where the real magic happens. When we face our giant with faith, We are not alone. Just as David had the spirit of God by his side, we have our source of strength, wisdom, and courage in our faith. So what giant are you facing today? Is it a career challenge, a personal obstacle, or a dream that seems too far out of reach? Remember, you are not going into the battlefield alone. Indeed, it was the spirit of God that took out Goliath. It was faith that parted the Red Sea for the Israelites. And it's faith that can move mountains in your life. How can we unleash our inner lions to face our giants? Hmm. We have to have and embrace our faith and courage. Facing our giants begin with embracing faith and courage. Just as David trusted in God's power and believed in his own abilities, we too can start by nurturing our faith. Faith isn't the absence of fear. It's the strength of an act despite of it. It's the unwavering belief that with God by our side, we can conquer even the most formidable challenges. Take time to strengthen your faith through prayer, meditation, 
and on scripture. Courage is the lion's roar within us. It's that voice that says, I will not be paralyzed by fear. To unleash your inner lion, acknowledge your fears, but don't let them control you. Instead, focus on the potential rewards and growth that can come from confronting your giants head on. Surround yourself with a supportive community, like-minded individuals who cheer you on, just as David had supporters in his corner. Embrace their encouragement and remember that courage is contagious. We also have to develop a bold strategy. Unleashing your inner lion also, it involves developing a bold strategy. David didn't just rush into battle. He carefully chose his his weapons and used a slingshot, a seemingly unconventional choice, right? Likewise, in your own life, access the tools and skills at your disposal. What unique strengths and talents can you leverage to tackle your giants? Create a, a strategic plan that aligns you with your goals and values. Craft a strategic plan that aligns not only with your personal goals, but also with your values as a faithful follower. Approach this planning with a heart open to divine guidance, seeking wisdom and counsel um, from fellow believers who have walked similar paths or possess spiritual expertise in the areas you are journeying through. Just as King Solomon sought God's wisdom when facing daunting decisions, seek his divine wisdom in prayer and meditation on his word. Recognize that your plan isn't merely a worldly strategy, but a divine blueprint, craft in alignment with God's will. That's, I mean, trust that, he will illuminate your path and equip you with the spiritual armor necessary to confront your giants with faith as your shield. Moreover, be adaptable. David's victory wasn't a result of um, stubbornly sticking to a predetermined predetermined plan. He adjusted his tactics when needed. Be open to learn um, from, from your failures and setbacks, using them as opportunities for growth. Remember that taking risks doesn't guarantee immediate success, but it does guarantee personal growth and resilience. Your journey to facing giants might involve detours and unexpected twists, but with faith, courage, and a well-thought-out strategy, you can navigate through adversary and emerge victorious, okay? Let's dive into the importance of trusting in God's plan when taking risk. This is a crucial aspect of our faith journey, and it can make all the difference when you face uncertainty and daunting challenges. Trusting in God's plan means surrendering our desires, our control, and leaning into his divine wisdom. It's about understanding that his plan often unfolds unfolds in ways that we may not, um, you know, anticipate. But ultimately, it leads us towards his purpose for our lives. It's not always easy, though, is it? We often want to map out our entire journey. And when risks come into play, that desire for, for certainty can be even stronger. But when we look to the Bible, we find countless examples of individuals who trusted in God's plan, even when they couldn't see the full picture. Take Abraham, for instance. God asked him to leave his homeland and go to a place he would show him. Abraham stepped out in faith, not knowing where he was going, but trusting in God's promise. That's all he had. All he had was God's promise. And we can't forget about Joseph, who faced betrayal, imprisonment, and uncertainty. Yet, he trusted that God had a plan, even in the midst of adversity. Ultimately, his story reminds us that God can turn even the most challenging circumstances into opportunities for growth and fulfillment. 
And of course, <laughs> there's the ultimate example of truth in God's plan, Jesus himself. He willingly faced the cross knowing that it was a part of God's redemptive plan for humanity. He sure did. I mean, these stories, y'all, I mean, they remind us that even in the face of uncertainty and risk, trusting in God's plan can lead to incredible blessings. It's about having faith that he is with us every step of the way, guiding our path and working all things together for our good. So, dear listeners, okay, as you navigate your own journey and face risk, remember the faith of these biblical figures and the countless others throughout, throughout history who leaned on God's plan, believed in his promises. You know, a pit didn't stop. God's promises. Being sold into slavery didn't stop God's promises. An empty jar didn't stop God's promises. A lion in a den didn't stop God's promises. Being inside of the belly of a whale didn't stop God's promises. A fairy, a fiery furnace didn't stop God's promises. A giant in the land didn't stop God's promises. And just as Jesus defeated the enemy in the wilderness, you will too. There is nothing, nothing, nothing that can stop you. So take a risk. Get out of your comfort zone. In the pages of scripture, we witness resilience and faith. A pit couldn't halt God's promises, nor could being sold into slavery, encountering an empty jar or facing a lion in a den. These challenges, rather than obstructing his plan, be became the very backdrop against which God's promises shone all the brighter. Imagine being inside the belly of a whale, enduring the searing flames of a fiery furnace. Still, God's promise, his promises endured. Even when giants loomed in the land, his promises remained unshaken. <laughs> a testament to his unyielding commitment and promises to his people throughout history, y'all. Same God back then, same God right now. These stories inspire us, reminding us that our own, our own tribulations cannot trump the promises of our ever-present God. He's omnipresent, y'all. We emphasize the importance of trusting in God's plan when taking risks and sharing um, antidotes from the Bible, such as Abraham, Joseph, and Jesus, to illustrate the power of such trust, even in uncertainty. These stories serve as an inspiring examples of faith in action. Faith without works is dead, y'all. When putting faith into action, it requires us stepping out of our comfort zone and into the unknown, which is often where true growth and transformation occurs. It's a leap of faith, a decision to confront our fears, and an acknowledgement that risks are inherent to life's journey. While the process of taking risks can be daunting, it's crucial not to let fear paralyze us. In fact, some of the most significant breakthroughs and accomplishments in history have been the results of individuals who were unafraid to step out into the uncharted territories. And if they were afraid, they did it anyway. Nothing happens until you get past your fears. Moreover, taking risk isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous process of stepping in and out of our comfort zones. It's about embracing change, learning from failures, and having the courage to adapt and evolve. When we approach risk, 
taking with an open heart and a willingness to learn, we not only discover our hidden potential, but also uncover new horizons of opportunities that we might never have imagined. So don't be afraid to step out when the moment calls for it and to step in when it's time to embrace the unknown. It's in those bold steps that we often find the greatest rewards and blessings on our journey of faith and self-discovery. That's why the Bible says that we have to have faith. Some individuals find themselves uh, propelled into taking risks due to past uh, disappointments or setbacks. These disappointments can serve as a catalyst for change, motivating them to step out of their comfort zone and pursue new paths. While it's true that adversity can be a powerful motivator, it's essential to recognize that the struggles we face today don't define our tomorrows. Disappointment may have been the catalyst, but it doesn't have to be the cornerstone of our future decisions. Common fears and doubts often cast a shadow of hesitation over individuals contemplating taking risks. The fear of failure, the uncertainty of the unknown, and the worry of what others might think can paralyze even the most determined hearts. Yet it's essential to recognize that these fears through na- through natural Though natural, are not insurmountable. In fact, they often signal the threshold of growth and transformation. By acknowledging these fears and confronting them with courage and reminding ourselves that growth rarely happens within the confines of our comfort zones, we can begin to break free from the chains that hold us back. The journey of taking risks often starts with addressing these fears head on, transforming them into stepping stones towards our aspiration. You have to confront the fear. What is it that you're afraid of? Confront it. You have to confront it. It is crucial to understand that our struggles are not permanent fixtures, but rather temporary chapters in our life stories. They can teach us valuable lessons, build resilience, and shape us into a stronger individuals. As we navigate these difficulties, we often discover that they are not roadblocks, but stepping stones towards, towards realizing our dreams. So if you've been hesitant on taking risks because of past struggles, remember that your struggles don't have to define your destiny. Embrace the potential that growth, change, and a brighter tomorrow as you step boldly into the future. If we allowed ourselves to get stuck in disappointment and fear how in the disappointment and fear how would we ever experience the promises of God don't forfeit yourselves from hearing something you've never heard and seeing something you never seen from God it is possible to experience a suddenly moment Okay, and find yourselves with the power to do something you've never done if you humble yourselves to the Holy Spirit. Did you know that each of us is born into the world with a unique purpose and the potential to uh, contribute positively to our surroundings? It's um, deliberate repl- deliberate placement in the tapestry of humanity. It means that you are a solution waiting to be discovered. Just as a puzzle piece has it um, destinated spot in the, in the puzzle, you have a role in the grand design of life. Get ready to ignite your inner fire for your birthright isn't a constraint. 
I mean, it's an electrifying opportunity. It's your very presence where you find yourself uh, possessing the dynamic potential to spark change, ignite compassion, and fuel innovation. Your life experiences, your extraordinary talents, and your parallel perspective are the exact ingredients the world hungers for to surmount its challenges and to unlock its boldness, bondless potential. So, Hold on to your hats because the impact you are about to unleash by just being unapologetically you and sharing your dazzling gifts with the world is nothing short of revolutionary. Buckle up, dear listeners. You're not just along for the ride. You are the essential game-changing solution the world has been waiting for. There's somebody waiting for you. Listen up, folks. We are all in the line for a jaw-dropping, heart-thumping, absolutely abundant experience of God's blessings, his love. It's limitless, his grace overflowing, his promises bursting with possibilities. But here's the kicker. We can't just sit around waiting. No, no, no. We've got to roll up our sleeves, take a leap of faith, and dive head first into the incredible adventures he laid out for us. God's blessings. You are not just handouts. They are not just handouts. They are interactive, action-packed, life-altering opportunities. So brace yourself because the journey ahead will it demand our unwavering faith, our unyielding dedication, and our relentless pursuit of His divine plan. But trust me, when we dare to step into that to that divine dance, the blessings that await us are nothing short of mind-blowing. You must understand that you are not mere spectators in your own journey. You have the power to shape your destiny, to embrace the abundant life that God has designed for you. As you reach out and grab hold of his promises, you not only transform your own life, but also become a vessel of his blessings to others. Yes. It's in the active pursuit of God's plan that we discover the more, the more that he has in store for us. And it's a journey filled with hope, purpose, and divine favor. As we come to the close of this episode, we want to leave you with a resounding message of encouragement. It's time to embrace your inner lion and step out in faith. Just as David faced Goliath with unwavering trust in God's plan, just as countless heroes of faith in the Bible conquered insurmountable odds, you too have the strength, resilience, and divine support to face your giants. Fear, it, it, it happens to every one of us. It tries to scare us so we won't, you know, do what God has, has called us to do. You want to see something? You want to see change in your life? <laughs> Remember, your journey is a unique story waiting to be written. Your dreams, your past, your aspirations are not accidental, but designed with purpose. The challenges and risks you encounter are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to your destiny. As you step out in faith, you become a living testimony to God's grace and his power to transform lives. For me, I always wanted to be bold, <laughs> to savor the exhilaration of uh, life's adventures and to taste the sweet nectar of excitement. <laughs> but for so long, I felt imprisoned, um, paralyzed by fear, icy grip. I, I really was. It seemed like my dreams were distant stars too far out of reach. Then one ordinary day, a friend shared a quote that resonated deep within my soul. Fear is not the absence of courage, but the triumph over it. Clearly, you don't understand the Bible because God said, be bold and courageous. 
Those words ignited a spark, which began to shift my perspective. I decided that it was time to confront my fears and to set out on a journey to reclaim my life. It wasn't an instant transformation, but day by day, I took small steps towards boldness. I faced my fears head, head on, often with a racing heart, sweaty palms, trembling hands, but with each small victory, I felt a rush of empowerment. The more I embraced risk, the more vividly I could feel and taste the excitement I had longed for. And before I knew it, it was ready. I was ready. I was ready to let out my inner lion and roar. <laughs> I can do a lot of that, y'all. Don't let fear, doubt, or past setbacks hold you back any longer. Embrace the truth that you are a vessel of God's love equipped with everything you need to face the giants in your life. The world needs your unique contribution, your faith-driven courage, and your unwavering trust in God's promises. So dear listeners, let your inner lion roar and may your journey of a faith Faith be a testament to the limitless possibilities that await when you choose to step out boldly. Your story is still unfolding with God, with God as your God. It's it's destined to be a remarkable and inspiring one. Get ready to embark on an exhilarating journey of faith, y'all, courage, and purpose. Your life is an extraordinary tapestry woven with God's promises, and you are about to experience the grandest adventure of your lifetime. Giants will fall, mountains will move, and dreams will become reality when you unleash your inner lion and step out in faith. I believe that in this moment, the Holy Spirit is pouring out his abundant love and power upon all who are open to receive it. A power greater than any human power. He is igniting a fire within the hearts of his people, awakening a deep sense of purpose and excitement. The Spirit is breathing life into dreams that have been dormant, stirring up a passion for his kingdom and causing a hunger for his presence. Y'all, God is amazing. He wants better for you than you want for yourself. Why wouldn't you think that he wouldn't want to bless you or give you the, your heart's desires? Get ready for the Holy Spirit is about to do exceedingly abundantly beyond what you could ever ask or imagine. He is raising up a generation of believers who will boldly step out in faith, proclaim his truth with boldness, and walk in the miraculous signs and wonders. The world still stands in awe as they witness the power and the glory of God manifest through his people. Be encouraged for the Holy Spirit is stirring a revival like never before. And his plans for you are greater than you can phantom. Get ready to be inspired, empowered, and used mightily by the Holy Spirit as he leads you into the fullness of your calling. So go out there and live your life. Claim your birthright. Embrace your unique purpose and seize the abundance of blessings that God has prepared just for you. The world is waiting for your brilliance and the creator of the universe is standing right by your side, cheering you on. Your story is an epic in the making and your faith is the driving force behind it all. Now, let's go and make every moment count. Now let's get your roar on. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you tuning into the lounge chat. 
transforming mindsets one thought at a time. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us and stay up to date with our upcoming episodes. You can find us on Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Podline, Spotify, and of course, um, WordPress and YouTube and all social media platforms. Please share, share, share with another person you think may benefit from creating a positive change in their life. Don't forget, there's someone that's waiting for you, whether you're um, building your own business, there's some people out there that needs jobs, so you can get some employees working out there for you. There's some, there's, there's YouTube channels that you can go on. There's something that you may know about. There's some um, crafts or anything that you can do. Make a step today. Make a step. Trust me, it took me a very long time. I first started out with blogging. Then I started um, doing podcasts. And now I'm trying to come up on YouTube. I never wanted to show my face because I, I just you know, fear and all that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can overcome fear. I did. I did because it's like fear will stare you right in your face and it will make you turn around. That's the whole purpose of it. It's the whole purpose is to make you stop. But once you see that stop sign and once you go past that stop sign, that's where all the magic begins. I promise you, that's where all your magic magic began. I am out here. I'm like really recording um, stuff like every single day now. I'm like, yeah, I'm on the ball. I'm on the roll. I'm like, I gotta, I, I want better for myself. And I can't teach anybody else to be better if I'm not doing it myself. Right. So here I am. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye. See you next time.